you got to ask what they're for. I mean, presumably, neither the United States nor the Soviet Union really intends to, uh, to blow up the planet, to you know, destroy the global civilization. That's not what they're about. The uh, professed function of the nuclear weapons on each side is to prevent the other side from using their nuclear weapons. If that's all it is, then we've got to ask, how many nuclear weapons do you need to do that? Uh, so, uh, for example, you could ask, how many cities are there on the planet Earth? Let's say a city has 100,000 people or more. You probably don't need more weapons than what's required to destroy every city on Earth. There's only 2,300 cities. So the United States, by that criterion, only needs 2,300 nuclear weapons. Well, we got more than 25,000, more than 10 times enough. And it's suicidal. I mean, it's stupid even if you hate somebody. If they have nuclear weapons and you attack them, they're going to attack you. And, uh, and so the thing is immensely stupid. If we were only concerned about deterrence, that's the magic word, to deter the other side from using their nuclear weapons, then all you need is a tiny fraction of the present bloated, grotesque, and ruinous, uh, including ruinous in cost, uh, arsenals. Uh, a minimum deterrence that is absolutely safe, that is an invulnerable retaliatory capability, could be done for a thousand nuclear weapons or a few hundred nuclear weapons. So, you see, what's happened recently is there's been this much ballyhooed uh, INF uh, treaty, uh, Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces, which uh, is terrific. I'm all for it. It lowers the arsenals by about 3%, and the nuclear warheads are being recycled. They're not even being gotten rid of. What we have to do is make vast, massive cuts in the arsenals on both sides. And nothing short of that is going to make us safe.